I heart Bloomhost. Oh man. Hey, thanks. Wait, I'm gonna put all this stuff on. Hi everyone, and welcome back to another Bloomhost server tour. I'm here today with Arma, one of the owners of the server we're touring today, Vanilla Bean. Nice to have you. <laughs> Uh, welcome to Vanilla Bean. We are a public SMP server. We have been operating for just over two years. Uh, our anniversary was last November. Uh, we're fully yes, uh, we're fully vanilla. Everything you see was made in survival mode. This is that's very impressive. Fire one of our community. <laughs> so first, I'm going to bring you over here. A large part of our town is actually underground because in November, uh, about two, two and a half years ago, was the release of Minecraft 1.18, the Caves and Cliffs update. So we started out in a cave. It was very grim and dark, and we've just glorified the cave since. And we've expanded and grew upon it. Uh, now we have builds everywhere up on the ground, and honestly, the cave's a little bit overshadowed. <laughs> I, it looks really sick down in there. There's clearly a lot of hustle and bustle down there. We're probably going to start by going into the cave, since it is the main spot new players might want to check out when they join our server. Nice. Uh, the pathing system around here is a little bit complex just because of the high elevation difference. Um, you rarely see builds stacked on top of each other like you're going to here. So, just behind the train station, or spawn, you're going to find the Welcome to Cave Town sign. It's a little mine entrance. This is original. This was originally a cave entrance that led down into the giant chasms below. I do have to ask, is Rock Bottom a Spongebob reference? Yes, it is. Heck yeah! <laughs> there was a contest on names, and that pretty much took the vote. <laughs> Ooh. Once you enter, there's just a nice little park area with just a little bit of seating. This top area is mostly for residential use. We have one of our pl older players. Uh, his name's Boffy. He has his little jungle on Cove over here. Just some farms and various little bases tucked away. And that's something you're going to find very often down here in the cave systems is bases you've never seen before. You could be playing for about a year and find something new hidden in the wall. This right here, I just want to show you real quick. That little glass box, that is the first little base that was made in this cave when we first adventured down here. It was filled with mobs and that was our little hidey hole. And it's been preserved ever since. I love the museum aspect of uh sort of the progress that comes yes. from underground bases like we've all made something like this but yes. i think seeing the progression from the start is really neat just gonna go right down here this is just a little viewing area nothing too special but it allows you to take a glimpse of what's Ooh. to come down in the cave Ooh. so i'm gonna bring you down here here is one of minecraft's natural aquifers which has been renovated with coral and even a rail system goes through it well that's really cool so, very unique rail system i want to point something out real quick because you're probably going to notice throughout the server we have handmade signs those are not made with plugins we have a giant platform and our players have made tons of handmade signs using carpet and carpet duping we do allow that uh we're very friendly with redstoners at least we try to be as much as paper lets us that's that's <laughs> really relatable <laughs> Um, even though this is a house, I wouldn't normally show off a random house. I do just want to point out to new players, there is an auto smelter in here, and pretty much everyone on the server uses it, so if you need to use it, it's right in here. We plan on making a actual public one, but hey, don't break what's already, uh, not broken. I'm bringing you all down to, closer to the shopping district, which is at the very bottom of Cave Town. Pretty much every store on the server is down there. You get down there off a very rickety... <laughs> rickety bridge so watch your step uh oh i love the dried campfire <laughs> yes it used to be a nice paved stone walkway and we decided it was too nice so we got rid of it <laughs> it needs to be more dilapidated <laughs> um here's a little carrot field for new players to get some 
basic carrots. Although we do have a better food source, we have a uh, public pumpkin pie farm up on the surface. But I'm going to quickly bring you down here to the shopping area because this is one of the main features of the cave town itself. So down here we have various stores ranging from firework rockets to blocks to food, all sorts of goodies. Oh, wow. Chunk by chunk, axolotl, firework shop. What's the what's the dollar sign? The diamond dot is it a bank? Um, it it sells various little trinkets like uh, armor trims, some mm. some shulker boxes. So down here is of course the shopping district. We have a redstone store. Down there is the library, which is great for new people uh, joining the server. It sells pretty much any book you'll need, very cheap. It's just a dime in a book. Multiple stores sell in raid armor. So that's uh, what makes them so cheap. Instead of buying a whole chest, or instead of making a whole chest plate for uh, eight diamonds, you can just buy it for three. And it already comes with some enchantments. Over here on the other end of the Cave Town Shopping District is our courthouse. Now, our courthouse actually has had multiple uh, court cases in it. For any disputes that's not necessarily breaking the rules, we will sometimes actually host court cases. We have a judge that's elected in uh, based on votes and that sort of thing. I love the enchanting so, table in the floor in the back. Is that functional? Because I saw the bookshelves below it. Yes, it's functional. There was armor around it for decoration, but you, know, I, you can guess what happened to that. <laughs> Here's a map. It is just slightly outdated. If you saw when we spawned in, there was a giant blank island in front of spawn. That was a giant tower that kind of got abandoned. So we've recently tore it down in plans of building something new there. This is really neat. I always love bird's eye, uh, bird's eye views of SMPs like this. This is the judge's stand. They have um, various little mechanisms for uh, punishing some of the jury. <laughs> we'll just say. We have a little sheriff station. Um, some of our members have uh, voted in roles. It's more like a title. <laughs> So there's very little, uh, there's various uh, role play elements. Got a little vault back there. That's redstone. Redstone activated. There's nothing in it right now. We moved it all to the museum. Ah, okay. I was about, I was very curious if anyone has ever tried to break into the vault. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> we had a uh, redstoner that decided that they wanted the dragon egg, and they were going to make sure they had a copy. But they duped it. <laughs> All right, before we head up to the surface, there's one last thing I would like to check out down here in Cave Town. That is the nether side. We have a small nether hub with uh, various paths to get around the server. It's very important for navigation. Here's our giant nether portal, and if you uh, look behind the portal, it almost looks like you're looking oh, straight into the nether. That's really cool. You know that mod that uh, shows you like the other side of the portal? Yes. You've you've recreated that. That's a really neat effect. Yeah, of course the portal on the other side is uh <laughs> not that big. Uh but here is our nether hub. It has a few different tracks telling you where to go. Uh you got one going back to the old spawn. Spawn hasn't always been at Cave Town. It is now just an abandoned area. Uh you also got a track going to Japantown and some various little things. Also, something else here in the hub, there is various little farms that are public, like a piglin bartering farm. That's all public, free to use. All right, let's head it back to Cave Town and go up top. We've been working tirelessly to make it uh, more more smooth to get out of, to get out of the bottom of this pit. Uh, such things like the rail system. There's actually a rail station back there beside the fireworks store that'll bring you back to the top. It's what brings you through the uh, that underwater bit in the aquifer. All right, so now, now that we've made it up that giant set of staircases, we're going to exit the cave town right into our brand new museum area. Or, uh, I'm sorry, not museum. Uh, the museum is over here, but there is a zoo. Ooh. This is freshly built. We have a pen consisting of some turtles over here. 
after observing their nice prison walls over there. And then uh, <laughs> we got our little llama and donkey pit. Pretty much any horse-like creature we throw over here. We want to get some camels at some point. Got a nice little seating area right in front of the beach. Got our little aquarium with various little life. Uh, some of this was really hard to get in here, like these squids. We had one of our players do it. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine certain mobs being absolute nightmares to bring into here in oh, yeah. survival vanilla means. All right, let's make our way over this Japanese-inspired bridge over here, and we'll visit the museum. Here is our museum area. Um, we have various historical artifacts in here from around the server. We have over here, we got a uh, deep slate emerald ore. That's pretty rare. Same thing with coal, because, you know, those spawn up high. Got a creeper. We're still working on getting some of the mobs. And we do have some map art made of the server. This is our old logo. It used to be a, uh, a cat. <laughs> I love the coffee. That's so funny. <laughs> yes. And then this is uh, a snapshot of something we called Swamp Town. We took like a brief hiatus from the main part of the server and just mucked around in the uh, mangrove swamps. Of course, this map was also handmade. It took like a month. <laughs> the fact that this is handmade is actually insane. Good lord. Yeah. yeah, when we visit the factory, we can fly over there really quick. Also, over here, right, tucked right behind the museum, uh, we don't need to go over there, but there is a uh, public iron farm for anybody that wants to get some iron gear. We're going to make our way over here to this castle to our right. This was made by two of our players, the judge and the sheriff, or uh, he's also known as the Pope. He's planning on building a church here soon. <laughs> They built this castle not long ago, about a year ago. Pretty much everything you've seen above the actual cave part of Cave Town is... It's been built in the last year. Pretty much nothing existed on the surface. Oh, wow. They're filling this uh, with some various buildings, and they're still working on decorating the interior. Looks like you're building Fantasyland in here. Yeah, Cave Town is a mix of different styles and art themes. If you notice the giant uh, steampunk airship by Spawn, you got the Victorian castle, all sorts of different things. So we're just going to quickly walk through here, <laughs> right to the other side. This is going to bring us out into a nice big old grass field. <laughs> and we're going to walk over here to the factory. This is a giant industrial area with various farms made by uh, one of our players, <laughs> once again. Uh, I also co-own this area. Over here uh, is a storage area. This is uh, compensating a little bit. <laughs> You'll see what I mean. Giant, Holy giant storage area. Holy cow. The reason why we have such a big storage area is we're going to be filling this area with tons of different farms. So we really needed all that storage. We've held off on doing the internals because we, we might dial that back a bit. But with the, the photo crafters getting ready to be added, we're working on some of our farms to make this better. But this is one of our steam stacks. It is to the top filled with cactus. Oh my, I didn't even notice that. Holy cow. How much does this produce, uh, do you know? It, honestly, I could not tell you. A lot. <laughs> More than we'll ever need. <laughs> that, yeah, that's all, that's all you want with a farm. <laughs> we have all the green dye, but, you know, we, we need some of the other colors. <laughs> and that tower is uh, a ton of villager farms for potatoes, carrots, wheat, and that sort of thing. We're going to walk around here to the back side. In this building, we have a uh, tree farm. Uh, that automatically blows up the trees. That sort of thing. Take a quick peek. 
Oh, oh, it's one of these. These yeah. also produce an insane. Uh oh, oh. Oh, yeah. Well, they don't explode, so <laughs> they they can still kill you. But ah, okay, okay. I was worried. I was out. worried. We leave pretty much most vanilla things on, but you know, some things we have to be a little more lenient on. Over here is a honey tower. So instead of a water tower, it produces honey. There's bees up there. Uh, use a little bit of leaf redstone. Kind of unique. Give it a second, it will drop oh. some honey. <laughs> Whoa. Holy cow. Oh, it drops a full stack. That's really yes. innovative. All right, we're going to quickly run back here. Back here is where we make most of our map arts. We have a giant platform that's just the size to make uh, the full map arts with giant auto du uh, carpet dupers on each side to get all of your different colors of wool. So it's pretty much just a giant art, art canvas. And when uh, players are done with their artwork, there is dispensers in the floor to spawn water to automatically break the painting. Oh, that's really neat. Uh, right now it looks like it's just stuck on. Oh no, these are just low, that's why. I thought they were. But yeah, this is where all of our map art is made. That's really neat. That's really, really cool. To have a cleanup system so effective. Oh, look at that. There is tons of different map art of various kinds. <laughs> we have one of our users, they make a lot of uh, anime map art. Like a lot. Like an unhealthy amount. Oh yeah, I eyed this when I first joined. This is really impressive. This is my mansion. Um, I didn't make the design, but it was still a giant le uh Took a lot to build this. <laughs> uh, we're not going to go on the inside. It's pretty much just as decorated as the outside. There's... I'm still working on getting furniture in there. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> I had to make sure I had to make make sure I had the biggest house, at least one of the biggest houses. Right over here uh, in this kind of uglyish building is uh, <laughs> we're planning on renovating it. <laughs> That's why I'm calling it ugly. <laughs> is a public mob farm. So if you're a new player, if you want to get yourself some scrap armor or bones or string or just anything you want some xp you have this farm in here you can flick the lever on it has an auto sorter auto sorts your items and any of the armor you get if you don't want the armor you can just smelt it in the nuggets get yourself a few ingots all right right here to our right is a public tree farm so if you notice we had a bunch of public tr uh custom trees over by spawn uh, that becomes an issue for new players wanting to get wood, so we made a giant uh, public tree farm so they don't have to harvest the wood from our nice trees. <laughs> Alright, there's one last thing I'd like to show off in Cave Town itself. Alright, here is the co-owner's mansion. So you saw what mine looked like. Here's the co-owner's mansion. He, uh, unlike mine, his is decorated on the interior. It's really nice. So he's got a head up there. All right, that pretty much concludes the cave town part of the tour. Let's quickly go right back here to the other side where we have some uh, more of a community-made town. There is multiple other towns not associated with the main town, which is cave town. Uh, this is one of them. This one's pretty new. Uh, I'll show you all in a little bit, but there is a town called Germany. Um, that's not this. This is made from the members of Germany, which split apart after a giant war that the server had. Over here is a public fighting coliseum. If you uh, want to partake in some PvP. And then right back here, out the other side, is the town of Spadefall. Nice. There is uh, some other houses, a floating island, and another castle that is in the works. Right on the other side. So, if you follow this rail, you will find yourself at Germany. Now, we're going to do a quick little translation to that because it's pretty far away. 
All right, here is the town of Germany that I was just talking about a moment ago, where there was members that were part of this town. It was uh, uh, many members, actually, and they had a court system kind of like the one in Cave Town. However, uh, there was a disagreement within the courts, and that caused the split of Germany. So Germany is now a ghost town for a lot of our players. Germany lasted about a year, so half the lifespan of Cave Town. Uh, many of its members split off into different little groups. Uh, Germany has many different homes. Uh, there's not exactly shops. It was more of a uh, more of a group type experience, whereas uh, Cave Town is a uh, pretty economic. But just on the other side of Germany, we have our last town we are going to tour today, which will be Japantown. So I'll meet you in the Alps. All right, welcome to Japantown. We are now in the Alps. We found this uh, terrain, and we knew immediately that we had to do something with it, because it is absolutely amazing. We got this valley here completely circled by hills. Um... So we are trying to establish a new town called Japan Town, which is obviously Japanese themed. We have a few builds that we have already started working on. Most of our work is actually in a little hole over there. That's our little base of operations. <laughs> it took us quite a bit to build off an auto smelter, that sort of thing. That all is just to support uh, all the other amazing builds that we are working on here. Up this hill, we have the uh, Japanese temple. It is used for a lookout. You can see into the middle here of Japantown, as well as you can see over the hill right onto the other side. So if we go up in here, uh, there is a great spot with some great views. So Japantown has primarily been worked on by me, the co-owner, and uh, the sheriff. <laughs> and we plan on building a more dense city in the middle, like a Japanese-inspired city, instead of uh, where this is a more traditional building. We'll do some urban areas, like uh, ki kind of stylized after like Akihabara. It'll definitely be really cool when this is completed. Yes. Because we like to mix in themes, make stuff interesting around every turn. All right, that concludes our uh, Vanilla Bean tour. Thanks for tuning in and watching this to the very end. Uh, really do appreciate it. I hope to see some of you wonderful people uh, later. Well, thank you, Arma, for this really, really awesome teaser trailer tour of Vanilla Bean. You have a really, really nice, dense community, also talented community on this server. Um, if any viewers wish to join Vanilla Bean, the IP is on the screen right now in the top left corner. Uh, also information, including the website of Vanilla Bean will be linked in the description below. Uh, that is it again for the tour of the Vanilla Bean SMP, and we will see you all in the next server showcase video.